Hi everyone, it's Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'll be sharing two quick and easy cards using the new Sheets and Giggles stamp set. And I'll also be using the Haunted paper pack, the Giraffe paper pack, and the Starring Hearts paper pack. To get started, I stamped the ghosts onto a piece of super smooth cardstock with tuxedo black ink so that I could do a little bit of Copic coloring. And the coloring is really very simple. I started out with BV31 and just outlined the ghosts. After I was done with the BV31, I brought in B60 and blended out the BV31 a little bit. And I did go with a little bit thicker line on the areas where there would be a little bit more shadow on the ghosts. After that, I blended those colors out with my colorless blender just to get rid of any of the harsher lines and also so that it would kind of fade to white towards the center of each of the ghosts. And to color in their mouths, I used a C1 marker. After I was done coloring the ghosts, I did run them through my brother's scan and cut machine to cut them out. Then I started to work on the patterned paper pieces that are going to go on the front of the card. The striped paper is from the Starring Hearts paper pack. That piece measures one and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And the skinnier strip measures one and one eighth by five and one eighth. I wanted the stripes to match the other patterned paper from the Haunted pack, so I colored those using a YG01 marker. And then when I cut the paper, the edges were white, so I used a black marker just to go around those edges. For my card base, I used a piece of dark gray cardstock that measures seven and a quarter by five and a half. And then I scored that at three inches. To put the card together, I had cut a piece of patterned paper from the Haunted paper pack to five and one eighth by two and three quarters. And I used my tape runner to adhere that to a piece of black cardstock that's just slightly larger. Next, I adhered that panel to the shorter panel on the front of the card, again using my tape runner. I adhered the striped paper to a piece of black cardstock that is cut slightly larger than the striped paper. And I adhered that to the right side of the card front. Next, I adhered the other piece of striped paper to another piece of black cardstock that's cut just slightly larger. I'll make sure to have all of the measurements in the description box below. Next, I adhered a piece of gray paper that measures one and five eighths by three and three quarters and stamped the sentiment in the center of that. I wanted to frame in that gray paper a little bit, so I used a fine tip black marker and just did kind of hand-drawn, not perfectly straight lines just around the border. When I adhered that panel to the front of the card, I made sure only to put adhesive on the left-hand side so I didn't glue my card front shut. And then for the ghosts, of course, I had to use some foam tape. And for the ghost on the bottom right, I made sure not to put foam tape on the right side of him. Otherwise, again, I would have glued my card shut. Then I put the other two ghosts in place and that finishes up card number one. For the second card, I colored the ghost the exact same way. What I wanted to share here is how I get my patterned paper so that it fits on the front of a card. The orange polka dot paper is from the giraffe pack and I had cut that to four inches by five and a quarter. And then I cut it at an angle so that I could put the black and white patterned paper, which is also from the Starring Hearts paper pack, up at the top. I cut a piece of black cardstock to four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And to get the patterned paper lined up just right, I did use that as a guide so I would know where I needed to adhere the orange paper to the black and white patterned paper. And then I just used my paper trimmer to cut off the excess. I used my tape runner to adhere the patterned paper to the black cardstock and I had cut a piece of black cardstock into a skinny strip so that I could have a little bit of separation between the two patterned papers. And I adhered that with liquid glue and then I used my scissors to cut off those little excess pieces on the edge. I put foam tape on the back of the ghost and adhered him to a white circle. Then I used my tape runner to adhere that to a black circle that was cut just slightly larger. And of course, more foam tape on the back of the black circle and I adhered that to the front of the card. Off camera, I stamped the sentiment, don't like Halloween, onto a piece of black cardstock and embossed it with white embossing powder. 
I finished the inside of the card by stamping that's boo sheet and that finishes up my second card. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, we'd love it if you would. For more inspiration, check us out over on Instagram and join our group over on Facebook. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.